Pika are small and look like hamsters but are related to rabbits. Pikas have oval shaped bodies around 6 inches and weigh about 8 ounces. They are really unique and different from your regular hamster. Pikas live in high alpine mountains in Colorado. They're cute. The interesting thing about pikas, this is true. One winter I was skiing up a little over 12,000 feet on the back side of that mountain there. And, and this was in March and I actually heard them because it was in a windswept area. Pikers are an animal that, sl that sleep a lot in winter, but they're active. So you get an area where it's windblown and there's bare ground, and they'll actually be up in the middle of winter. And so I always call that actually, it has no name, but I call it Pika Basin because, I mean, to see that little animal at like over 12,000 feet in dead winter was such, you know, it was very exciting. My name's Billy. Uh, I live out here. Uh, since 1972, and I just started keeping weather records. And I got a job at the lab in spring of 72 studying water quality in the river, and then I decided I just wanted to stay. There have been obvious changes in the climate. Even last, uh, last two winters were the two winters with the densest snowpack. So a dense snowpack um, melts quicker than a light snowpack, and uh, melt sooner. So over the years, we're getting less and less days over the course of the winter with snow on the ground. And that affects a lot of things. If, if the lack of snow affects a group of mammals or a group of birds or whatever, it affects all the other mammals, even if they don't mind the, the, the lack of snow or, or a change in their habitat. So your pikas have to move up because they're used to cold and it's not cold. Pikas are small mammals with short, with short limbs and rounded ears. Pikas do not hibernate, so they generally spend time during the summer collecting and storing food they will eat over the winter. It is also known as a whistling hare due to its high-pitched alarm call when it's diving into its burrow. The pika is of the first generation of species considered for listing under the Endangered Species Act because of vulnerabilities to the human-caused climate change. The Endangered Species Act requires that no federal action will jeopardize the existence of listed species. Therefore, a listing of the pika would require the government to address greenhouse gas emissions. Tell your representatives about the pika and your concern with climate change and remember to vote. Until the government starts doing their job, we can save the pika by picking up trash and recycling, using less resources, biking instead of driving. Save the pika! They're, they're, they're one of the most dangerous animals around. Whenever I hike, I wear steel collars because they go right for the throat and they burrow. And the steel collar won't save you 